Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. Today we're going to do a little bit of debugging on the USB POV toy. This is a persistence of division device, one of those things where you wave it back and forth and it spells a message in the air. The POV toy is a little different than what we've seen before. It's got USB for uploading new patterns easily. It's also got an accelerometer chip so it can detect the waving of a hand and sync the pattern to it. That makes the pattern look a lot sharper and more consistent. It's based on a 3.3 volt PIC 18F 24J50. It's got a USB peripheral built in so we can add USB support with just a few extra parts. The accelerometer chip is this one here. We weren't able to solder that ourselves. We had to send this off to forum member Picha and he soldered four of them for us. It's an LGA chip, which means there's actually no exposed pads. Even on a QFN chip, there's little tiny exposed metal bits around the side, but on LGA, everything is entirely underneath the chip. It's really challenging to solder, and we couldn't do it on our own. A huge thanks to Picha for getting that done. He also sent pictures and a write-up of his experience. We'll post that up soon. Next to the accelerometer are a row of eight LEDs. We put footprints now for both the surface mount version and the through-hole version. There's two parts of this board that we haven't populated yet. First, over here is a lithium poly battery charger circuit. This is so that you can have a small rechargeable battery attached to the POV toy and charge it over USB. This hasn't been tested yet and probably won't be on the first version. Up here we have a place for an EEPROM. This is to store the patterns, words, pictures, whatever you actually upload to the POV toy over the USB connection. We haven't populated it yet and we need it now. EEPROMs are in the ICs and stuff folder. Let's see, RAM, op amps, Analog EEPROMs. Okay, it's a SPI EEPROM, which is a 25AA or 25LC part number. Here we go. This is a 25AA080D. That's a 1K EEPROM, and it's 1024 bytes of storage. That'll be fine for our test. We only need the first page to store the calibration byte on. First, we'll solder the EEPROM in place, and then we'll add the 0.1 UF capacitor that decouples it from the power supply. Now for the point one UF capacitor. It's all soldered now, so we're going to come over to the computer and try a few of the options in the firmware. So before we program the new firmware, here's what it looks like without the calibration data. Basically it fires kind of sporadically, it's, it doesn't work very well. So I'll hook it up to the programmer, and then we'll program the POV toy. What we're going to do is connect to the IR toy on COM4, simple serial terminal, and send it some commands. Now we're holding this flat, it's stuck with sticky tack down onto the office table, but uh, if we read the x-axis, it's going to come up really weird. It should be somewhere between 0 and FF, somewhere uh, on either side of that value where a byte rolls over, but since it's not calibrated, it's going to be all over the place. Now we'll send the X key to take a reading from the x-axis. You can see it's EB, so it's, it's off quite a bit. If we run C for the calibration routine, it will figure out how much offset it needs to level it out to zero. The calibration routine ran and decided we were 26 hex off from zero. So now it programmed that into the EEPROM as well as the accelerometer. So now when we take another x-axis measurement, it should be much closer to zero or FF. You see now it's FA, F9, those are all very acceptable values. Now let's actually try it out and see how it works with the calibration data programmed in. As you can see, we've already got much more consistent display with the shaking. It's supposed to say hello. It doesn't quite yet, but eventually. Well, that's our workshop update for today. Thank you for watching. Next week, we'll be back with a video about how to use the new open source USB stack. Also, next weekend, we'll be at the Bay Area Maker Fair in San Francisco, California. If you can make it, please stop by. If you're there a few days early, come join us in the Dangerous Prototypes Taco Crawl. We start at the Noise Bridge Hacker Space and then work our way down Mission Street eating tacos the whole way. Shoot us an email if you can make it. There's room for everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next week.